recommend having you know at least one day's worth of material on site. That way you're not held up waiting for material. The more you can have on site, the better, so you don't get hung up if you find that you know, as you're getting more familiar with the wall system, you know, your efficiency is going to increase. Well, you have to make sure you have a nice area to get the blocks easy accessible. A lot of times it's good to have two machines. Once we start setting, another machine will bring them over. So you have to work as a team to make these blocks go together. It really helps. We recommend drawing right on that, that engineered plan as you're going along. And you can even use this in the planning process. You know, mark out which blocks you're, you're looking to, to get set in one day. And, you know, we can arrange deliveries in accordance with, with that marked up drawing. We'd like the entire team of the installation crew to understand you know, some of the basics of, of the wall and the plan. As a typical gravity wall system, you, know, you have the retained soil behind the wall, the drainage aggregate between the block and that retained soil, and directly under the block is your foundation material. And the properties of, of the retained soil and the foundation material will be specified on the engineered plan. On a reinforced wall, you'll note that the foundation material extends all the way back below the reinforcing grid. That's something you want to keep in mind, and, and you know, there's one additional soil zone, which is the reinforced zone. Typically, that's imported fill, depending on what you have on site, and that's um, you know, compacted in 8-inch lifts with the reinforcing grid. We do a lot of the smaller blocks, and then you have the medium and the larger blocks, these larger ones have to be right on when they're poured. The nicer they are, the better. And uh, we find that uh, Shea makes a great product. Nice forms, they come out smooth. Uh, when you get into your bigger blocks, it's all machined, so the closer they're poured, the better it is. Well, usually the engineers will test the soils. We have a pretty good insight of what the soils are like, but uh, they come and check them, make sure the right amount of drainage. As you can see with a large hill like we have here, they tested the soil and it was fine.